hello friends welcome back this is madan in this demo i'm going to show you how to upload image to asp.net core mvc application here i have opened the project that we have used in our previous uh, pagination demo video and uh, in this demo we are going to add image upload we are going to add uh, image to our student model so currently the project looks like this so we have a student uh, controller here and the index view is uh, displaying all the students and uh, we have another view called student slash new to add a new student and now we are going to add one additional field here to upload select the file from the disk drive and we'll be uploading that image to the server but uh, we are not uploading that image directly to our database table rather we will be uploading image to our ww root directory in and uh, inside our ww root directory images folder and uh, we will be saving the url of that image to the database so first step let's go over to the student model models student and add one additional field called image url string image urls or let's say simply url after that we need to create that field into the database so let's go over to the terminal and then let's generate the migration dot net dot net here migrations add image url added to student model Let's send that migration to the database. Dot net here. Database update. It will send that migration to the database and create the additional image URL field to our student table. Now let's go over to our views. Student and then new view and then let's add one additional field there div class equal to form label ql ready upload image and then let's add input asp input input type equal to file and then let's give it a name of id of file and name equal to file and let's give it a class of form control c o m t r o l form control to upload the file along with the data we need to add another attribute here called enc enc ink type equal to m u l t i p a r t multiplot slash Form data so this will take our data as well as all other files associated with this form and send that to the server now when we submit this form it is going to post data to the new action of student controller and then now in our new action of student controller we need to add additional parameter called file to take this file so let's head over go to the new action of the student controller and then i form file file this i form file will take a file from the form and uh, now we need to save this file to the to our ww root directory images folder and then we need to take that url and save that url to the database as well so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another method here called public void upl ready upload file and then we'll be taking icon file parameter file and we will be also taking the student id in the student id and then first of all we need to get the path name of the file so variable file name equal to we have a file parameter here file dot it has a property called file name and then we need to create a path where we want to save file in our server so variable path equal to 
we need to use the path so this path is available in our system dot io namespace and then we can use path dot combine function directory dot get current directory and we are going to combine that path with our ww root r uh, go to root slash images folder with our file name so this construct a path in the server where we are uploading our file once we have a path we need to create a file stream to upload that file so let's create a stream file stream inside the using statement so that we don't need to dispose that resource ourselves so using variable file string equal to new file stream new file stream and we need to create pass the path and then file mode dot create parameter here once we have that we can upload our file to this file stream so we can do is file dot copy to file stream so I really st file stream once you upload that file we need to write the name of the file we need to store the name of the file along with our students so what we're gonna do is uh, we are going to fetch the student with this id from the database table so variable student equal to we have student repository dot get single method oops find single method and we are going to pass x goes to x dot id equal to equal to student student id so once we have this student we are going to change the std and student dot we are going to set image url to the name of the file file name and then we will update that student using our method in student repository so we have student repository dot update and we pass that student here now we need to call this method when we save the student so let's go here and call the method upload file and pass the file and then id of the student student dot id now we need to create one more view to see the image of the student so let's go over to the student and then create a new file called ddilsdetails.cshtml and uh, the model will be model will be the student and then let's just display name of the student here name evaluate model dot first name and then let's display the image d class equal to tsemd and then i welcome that this is the bootstrap class to display the image img src equal to our file is stored inside the image folder of ww root directory so what we can do is we can do images slash and then name of the image our name of the image is stored in the model model dot image url Uh, here we, ha we haven't included ww root in our path because asp.net core directly shops the file available in ww root directory so we don't need to mention that here now we need to create a detail method in our student controller so let's go over and create a method public i action wizard dtls details and this will be taking id as a parameter with this id we will be getting a student from database variable student equal to student repository dot find single x goes to x dot id equal to equal to id and we will return to the view along with the student model let's save this and now let's go over to our index page student index and let's create a link here to go to the detail page let's actions and let's add a link here td a asp action equal to dts details asp controller equal to student and asp route as id equal to at the rate s dot id view details 
now we'll say robot to the browser and refresh let's create a new student so let's call him LST last name let's choose a file from here and here I have one nice picture of a student yes 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 a student here it is so let's open and let's upload so our new student is in next page click on next and this is our newly created student so let's click on view details and here we go here we have uploaded the photo of student when we creating when we create a new student so friends this is it for this video and uh, i'll see you soon have a good day thank you